try this question, press pause on your video, uh, find the implicit difference of y with respect to x. So let's take the implicit derivative here. Uh, notice that uh, we're going to have to use the product rule, and we always use the chain rule when we're taking the implicit derivative. And so I'm going to get uh, 2y plus 2xy prime equals 0. And if I solve for y prime, I'm going to get uh, negative y over x. Now we can see with this function that we could actually have just written it uh, explicitly. So y would be equal to 12 over 2x, and y is equal to 6 over x. And if we took the derivative of this thing uh, with respect to x, we would get negative 6x negative 2, which is equal to negative 6 over x squared. Now the next part of the question is asking us to find the slope when x is e equal to 6. So over here, if I want to use the implicit differential, I'm also going to need to find a value for negative y. And so uh, y to 6 equals 12. Well, this expression is true if and only if y is equal to 1. And so y prime is going to be equal to negative 1 over 6, because x is equal to 6. Let's use the implicit, uh, that was the implicit differential. Now let's use the explicit derivative that we found over here. If I want to know, uh, you know, of course this is y prime. I've done it with Leibniz notation here. And so uh, using that, we've got y prime is equal to negative 6 over 6 squared, which is equal to negative 6 over 36. And that is equal to negative 1 over 6. So you can see that the implicit and explicit derivative give the same answer. In situations where y can be written as an explicit function of x, it's going to give you the same answer that you would get if you use the implicit uh, differential. Here we see a graph of the previous function. We've got y is equal to 12 divided by 2x, or y is equal to uh, 6 over x. And we found the slope when x was equal to 6. So somewhere, it's going to be hard for me to draw it. Try it again. Uh, right about there. That looks about right. And so we found that the slope of this line was equal to what? It was equal to negative 1 over 6. There's the slope. Next is an example from our textbook. Uh, you can see that we've got a more complicated expression here. 
it's going to be awfully hard to find an explicit function of y uh, when we've got something uh, that is such higher order. We've got this polynomial uh, expression here. So we're going to want to use the implicit differential. And the question is asking us to find the slope uh, when x is equal to 2. So why don't you press pause on your video, give it a try yourself. Clearly this is a harder question. And then when you're ready, press play and we'll go through it and solve it together. All right, I'm going to just move my screen up like this. And I want to take the derivative of this thing with respect to x, knowing that y is an implicit function of x. So you can imagine y as equal to some function like f of x like that. Knowing that, having that in my mind, I'm going to have 3y squared. That's the chain rule, the outside. Take the derivative of the outside. Now I want to take the derivative of the inside. In this case, the inside is y. So I'm going to have y prime. The derivative of y with respect to x is y prime. Move on to the next term. Uh, I'm going to have to use the product rule here. So I'll start with the first two factors. So I'm going to have 6xy plus 3x squared. The derivative of y with respect to x is just y prime. And that whole thing is going to be equal to 0. So I took the derivative of the expression with respect to x, keeping in mind that y is an implicit function of x. Now I need to solve for my y primes. So I'll do this step by step rather slowly. Uh, first I could just keep all my y primes on one side of the expression and move over the terms that do not have uh, a y prime over the right hand side. Then I can factor out my y primes. So I'm going to have y prime 3y squared plus 3x squared is equal to negative 6xy. So I haven't done anything other than factor out the y prime. Now I can divide both sides of the expression by this thing that no longer has a y prime inside it. I get negative 6xy divided by 3y squared plus 3x squared, like so. Maybe I'll just move it over a little bit, make it look nice and pretty. Move it up a little bit. No, not too far up. There we go. And yeah, looking at it, I don't think there's really too much I can do to simplify this. Uh, I guess I could factor out the, I could maybe write it like this and factor out the 3 in the denominator. y squared plus x squared. I can't do anything with that. There's no way to factor that into a simpler form. And uh, I think I've got the answer here in terms of, well, I found the uh, implicit, the slope using the implicit differential. Now there's a couple ways to approach this. You can see that we want to find the slope when x is equal to 2. I can use the graph. So if x is equal to 2, then y is going to be equal to 1. Uh, if I wasn't going to do that, I'd have to use this expression. I've had y cubed plus 3, 1 squared, y is equal to 13. And then I just have to kind of eyeball this and realize that uh, this expression is going to, oops, I just, not a 1 here, a 2. And then just kind of eyeball this and realize that uh, if I'm trying to get this thing, this expression to be equal to 13, 
uh, that that's going to happen when y is equal to 1. But I could also just go to the graph and find that value from the graph. So I'll use that. We've got negative 6 times 2 times 1 divided by 3 times 1 squared plus 2 squared. This is going to give us negative. We've got a 12 in the numerator. I've got 4, 1. I've got 3 times 5 down here. And well, 12 is 3 times 4. And we're left with negative 4 over 5. Oops. And maybe I'll just add the y prime here to make sure it's clear and you remember what we solved for. So we found that the derivative uh, is equal to negative 4 over 5. y prime is equal to negative 4 over 5. And so this line here, this tangent line, uh, has a slope equal to negative 4 over 5. We can see, just looking at the diagram, that it's downward sloping. And it kind of looks like it is close to a slope of negative 1. It's kind of hard to eyeball and see that it's not equal to negative 1. And negative 4 divided by 5, that's pretty close to negative 1. So our answer seems reasonable, and uh, we are likely to have found uh, the correct answer.